Hello friends, may you been here? In this video, I'm going to explain the poem No Men Are Foreign. This poem was composed by the English poet James Kirkup. Those of you who have been watching my videos for a while now already know that I upload educational information on subjects like English and history. Feel free to check out the playlist. Consider subscribing if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And now, let's take a look at the poem. So the poem starts like this. Remember no men are strange, no countries foreign. Beneath all uniforms a single body breathes. Like ours the land our brothers walk upon. Is earth like this in which we all shall die? The poet asks his readers to remember that there is no human in this world who should be considered as strange, unusual or different. All men are the same. No country is foreign to us because the same human beings live and move all over the planet. The uniform that men wear might be different, but all bodies are constituted in the same way. Men have the same type of organs and the same type of limbs. All men breathe the same air and they all breathe in the same manner. Since we are all living in the same planet, it's the same land on which we are all walking, working and surviving. When men die, they will all perish in the same soil. They too aware of sun and air and water are fed by peaceful harvests, by wars long winter starved. Their hands are ours and in their lines we read a labor not different from our own. The poet means to say that the people who live in different countries are not different from us just because their locations are different. Everywhere on earth people get the same light from the same sun. The same air sustains us, the same water nourishes us. During peaceful times, people all over the world cultivate crops to feed their families and earn a living. During war, they have to face the same ravages, the same scarcity of food. All have to starve in the same way. The lines of fate marked in the hands of our brothers tell the same story of hardship, toil and labor. Now we come to the third stanza. Remember they have eyes like ours that wake or sleep and strength that can be won by love. In every land is common life that all can recognize and understand. The poet means to say that the people living in different parts of the world are all same like us. They are all gifted with the same pairs of eyes like each one of us. They open their eyes like us when we wake up every morning and they shut them every night when they all fall into bed. They are all strong people like us and we can all overcome each other's strength only through mutual love, affection and goodwill. In every country, the lives of all the people are the same. We follow the same kind of routine. We smile for the same joys and cry during the same heartbreaks. We empathize with the same pleasures and disappointments because our lives are all the same. Let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brothers, it is ourselves that we shall dispose, betray, condemn. Remember, we who take arms against each other. The poet calls upon his readers to remember that whenever anybody tries to instigate us to hate another person, we should not do so. We end up hurting our own selves while we hurt our brothers. Our fellow human beings are just like us. Their lives, their emotions, feelings, dreams, hopes and aspirations are similar to ours. If we hate them, we end up hating ourselves. If we take up arms against them, we betray ourselves. We give pain to our own selves. So now we come to the last stanza of the poem. It is human earth that we defile, our hells of fire and dust outrage the innocence. 
of air that is everywhere our own. Remember, no men are foreign and no country strange. The poet means to say that feelings of hatred for our fellow human beings lead us to pollute the face of the earth. The air that we breathe is fresh and pure. It is also vital for our survival. Yet our feelings of antagonism, our violence can convert the world into a living hell. It looks as though the earth is nothing but the breeding ground of malice and resentment. The environment appears corrupted. In order to overcome this situation, we need to understand that all men are the same. Nobody is a foreigner. No country is different. We are all one and we are all united. If we don't change our way of thinking, the whole world might turn into a living hell. To avoid such a possibility, we need to accept the truth that there is no difference at all between man and man. Before we wind up, let's look into the central idea of the poem. The main message that the poet wishes to convey is that it is time for all the people to overcome all their differences and become united. No human being is different from another. All countries are home to the same type of people. We all breathe the same air, get nourishment from the same water. Even our body parts are the same. We all work hard in the same way during peaceful times and during war we starve in the same manner. Our joys and misfortunes are all alike. So we need to stop taking arms against each other. We need to stop plotting against each other's lives. Mutual love and goodwill can take us through the path of prosperity. Hatred will only defile the face of the earth. We should not treat others as foreigners or strangers, for there is nothing foreign or strange about them. Well, that's all for today. I will attach the notes of this poem in the description below. Consider subscribing to my channel. I hope that you would give this video a like if you have found the content useful. It really supports my channel. Meet you very soon with another video. Bye.